Hi, I'm Rob Schultz, uh, it's Toronto State Durable, and every week um, I, I spend a lot of time just asking and answering email questions from athletes uh, all over. And I got a really good one uh, here. Um, and this fellow says, I'm a 40 year old full uh, time police officer and have completed several year programs with great success. I'm 5'9, just uh, weighed in at 243 pounds. I'm having a difficult time dropping weight uh, to make things harder. I work a graveyard shift. I'm trying to balance eating right, school work, workouts, family life, and sweet. Family, life, and sleep. What changes do I need to make to get my weight down to around 190 to 200 pounds? Running for me is difficult, but more mental than physical. I'm having a hard time figuring out if I should focus on strength training versus intervals versus bits of both. Obviously, it's not working. Can you recommend a training program that will address this? Um, also, also, how would you cycle the training year round so I can stay fit for duty? And uh, my answer is at 5'9", I'd want to see this uh, athlete uh, 180 to 190 pounds, about max. Um, uh, I, I, don't, I haven't seen him, I don't know for sure, uh, but generally uh, um, he's probably carrying around some extra weight, some body fat. The uh, this frustrating thing about body fat, especially as we get older, is that 80% of body fat is diet related and you just can't outwork a shitty diet. You just can't do it. So you got to fix your diet. And especially for uh, this fellow, he's 40 years old and I'm 46. And as you get older, for whatever reason, your metabolism slows down and it gets even more and more difficult. Um, when it comes to nutrition, um, I'm not a nutritionist, but you don't need to be. And you don't need a nutritionist. Um, uh, eating well it doesn't take rocket science or, or anything like that. It just takes discipline. My, our dietary uh, recommendations are fairly simple. Um, six days a week. Um, eat meat, veggies, um, nuts, and a little fruit. Um, drink. Water, coffee, anything that has no calories. Don't drink calories. What you can't eat is wheat, um, rice, um, white potatoes, beans. Carbs. You can have get your carbs from vegetables. Don't get them from this other stuff. Don't drink calories. Soda is off the menu. Alcohol off the menu. Now this is six days a week. When you first start, don't worry about counting your calories. Just eat until you're full. There's no caloric restriction here. Then one day a week, cheat like a mother. You can have pizza and uh, beer and donuts for breakfast. Eat candy all day long, it doesn't matter. One day a week, cheat like a mother. What I've kind of found is if you don't cheat, if you don't have a cheat day, you can't stay on the diet. And then the longer you're on the diet, where you're staying away from this crap, when you go to cheat, you start cheating less and less. Because when you start eating that stuff, it makes you sick. You don't feel very good. So these are our, our really quick nutritional recommendations. And for this athlete, that's the first thing I would do is to fix your diet. It could be, and there are some guys who are kind of built like fire hydrants, and this might be a guy who is just has a lot of muscle mass, and he's, he's not super fat, but he has a lot of mass. My recommendation for him in terms of overall body weight is exactly the same. When, especially as you get older, um, carrying around, he's carrying around 60 to 70 pounds extra weight. And that's every, every step is that much extra weight on his knees, on his joints, and as you get older, it adds up. So even for big, thick, strong, heavily muscular guys, um, I want them to you know, stop lifting and start cutting some of that muscle mass. It'll make you feel better. 
uh, down the road. Um, he had asked in terms of training and his you know, day-to-day -day training. For law enforcement athletes, I'd recommend a subscription to the website and follow the officer sessions. We cycle through the different uh, fitness attributes in the officer sessions. It addresses the burden constant, constant fitness so you don't get bored with what you're doing. And, it, and these sessions are designed um, to help law enforcement athletes perform better at their jobs. There's a, a large upper body strength focus, a large grip focus, core strength, and sprinting ability. And the sessions are also about 45 minutes long. So uh, for a busy patrol guy, like this guy's busy, he can get in the gym, change, train, change again and get out, hopefully in 60, 65 minutes. Um, when it comes back to weight loss and stuff, we're, we're starting, I've actually started work on designing a weight loss plan because we get it so much. Um, so um, we'll hopefully come out with that here fairly soon. Um, but until then, fix your diet and just keep training and stick with it.